Hello viewer, I'm your lecturer John Kabucho, taking you auditing and assurance. Our lesson today is about computer. We are doing computerized audit. I welcome you and I hope you will get something from this particular topic. Computerized audit is one of the most questions that is feared by student. I don't know why. Either it is because they fear issues relating to management information system or they don't understand anything to do with technology. But it's a very simple topic. The computerized audit or audit of computerized accounting system, computerized audit, usually has two main areas. The main areas, one is about the controls associated with computerized audit as well as the risks. So there is what we call computer risks and controls and controls which we mentioned partly when we were introducing the internal control system. And then there is audit of computerized accounting system. Computerized accounting system. My main lesson today is going to be focusing on this particular part. However, I will still remind you a bit of this particular part so that you will not have any problem, especially answering the questions relating to risks. So let me first of all remind you about this one. And here, I'm going to point out the risk that you can encounter when you're, computer, when you're auditing a computerized system or when you're using a computerized accounting system. And here, I'm going to put you through the controls that you're supposed to be using. So when you are having a computer system, generally, now forget about the issues to do with what? Auditing. And introduce uh, the case of I have a computer and my computer is being used maybe for accounting or for such maybe uh, operations and applications that may suit my company. So if you're having a computer system, there are a number of problems that you do may encounter. One of the biggest problem is what we call hacking. And I know you know what is hacking. If you don't want to use the word hacking, perhaps because it's a jargon, you can say unauthorized access. And that is going to be working for you. Unauthorized access. If you have unauthorized access, then it means someone else access to your system without proper authority. So what is the control number one? My control number one will be authorization of access. Authorization of access. That becomes the control. Now I know you are remembering this part. There may also be what we call software piracy. Software piracy. If you wish, you can call this one, you can call it uh, copywriting. Copywriting softwares without proper authority. Softwares without authority. So remember, here we are discussing risks. And so for proper arrangement, let me just remove this word risk here and perhaps put it here. The risks or problems or the threats that you encounter in computerized audit. Unauthorized cooperating softwares without proper authority. Without authority. So the original software, whenever we are doing computerized or programming, is called the source code. So you're supposed to keep all your source codes under key and lock. That is a control. Maintain source code under key and lock. Under key and lock. That becomes what? A control. Do you know there is a problem called virus or some we call them malicious software malicious software a software ca that can destroy maybe your what your data if there is a virus that can destroy your data and that's a threat to your computer system what do you do you introduce anti virus software antivirus software can help you to curb those particular cases a good example is like kaspersky and it works very well for computers do you have a problem with your computer such that there is a problem with integrity 
of data. Problem on integrity of data. Problem on integrity. If you are doing management information system, you should know when you talk about integrity of the data, we say it's not complete, it's not accurate. Either because the user does not understand the system or maybe the user does not have necessary knowledge and competence. And therefore, we need to introduce a control. Regular training of regular training of computer users. Computer users. There is also a scenario whereby there is an authorized alteration. An authorized alteration of database. Of data or database. So how can you solve that particular case? You know these particular terms. One, firewalls. A firewall is a program that acts like a gatekeeper and that can be able to go ahead and maybe scrutinize all the passwords that are being used to access the system. Firewall programs to go ahead and do what? Controls any entry in the computer system. If you are not using firewalls and perhaps the problem is you are fearing the data may be stolen or may be destroyed or may be altered while being transmission, transmission threat. You are transmitting data from one particular place to another and you are fearing that that data may be altered online or may be stolen online. You can talk about number six here, issues relating to encryption of data. Encryption of data during transmission. It will work very well and that will be forming part of the controls. So that I can be able maybe to arrange my points properly, let me delete this part and introduce additional controls. These are threats, and I know you know more threats because you have been using even your mobile phone, and your mobile phone has maybe a number of problems. The problems may be even the destruction of the hardware, the destruction of the software, maybe issues relating to power, power blackout, and all those destructions, you can go ahead and include additional points here. You can say, as much as I'm doing encryption, my point number six, I can introduce my point number seven here, my point number seven on control, and these will be issues relating to biometric controls. Biometric controls. We can also introduce the control that we covered in this particular class of ICS, and we said rotation of what? Of duties. There was also other issues that we covered during the internal control system, because we had mentioned this one before, number nine, and that was physical controls, like watchmen. Physical controls. All these are controls that you're supposed to be remembering. So most of the questions will be asking about the problems you do encounter whenever you're using a computerized accounting system, as well as the solution to that particular problem. So any person with a computer will be experiencing hacking, software, piracy, and what have you used as the problems that you encounter. Any person with a computer will bring maybe a number of controls that will help him. Ari alone, I was saying this is just a summary of what we had covered before, but still part of the computerized questions or computerized audit question. So I'm deleting this part because we had covered it. My main area was this one, auditing of a computerized accounting system. Auditing of a computerized accounting system. This one, I'll first by illustration of what we are doing using a small diagram that is indicating the work of an auditor and what he is going to be doing. It's a very simple case here that we are going to demonstrate. We are demonstrating a company that is using a computerized accounting system. Assuming this is the company that we are auditing. So this ABC Limited is our what? Our client as auditors. That is our client. This client of ours has an accounting system. An accounting system is supposed to maintain the financial records of the company as well as the accounting records of the company. This accounting system is using a what? They are using a computerized approach. They are using perhaps a computer. And the computer here is being used to do what? To solve major problems in this company. So this company, assuming that is a keyboard, this is just a small diagram structure that is indicating a small part of the what? Of the computer that they are using. So the client is using a computerized accounting system to maintain what? One, they are maintaining their records. 
Two, they are preparing their financial statements here. Three, they are also reporting using those particular what? Computerized system. This is a computer system. Now, assume again that you are the auditor and you are in this particular scenario there. Your name is X and Y Associates. So you are auditing who? You are auditing ABC Limited. So if you are the auditor and you are here in your audit firm and you have been invited to come and audit that particular client who is using a computerized accounting system, there are a number of problems that you do encounter. And that is our first place or maybe our first main or main area that we are supposed to be focusing on. So as an auditor, the first question we ask is, what are the challenges in computerized audit? Challenges encountered in computerized audit. This one, we are trying to compare a client whose financial statements are computerized and a client, assuming you have another client number two here, but whose records are maintained manually. He maintains manual records. So there is manual records, there is computerized records. So we, are want, we want to go ahead and compare maybe the problems you do encounter there, which is not here in this particular case. The problems that we do encounter when we are doing computerized audit, one of the problems is lack of knowledge and skills in computer application. Computer application. Remember, our clients are varied and they are many. If you are auditing a hospital which is computerized, the problem will be different from maybe when you are auditing a company that is dealing with retail products. And therefore, you may have a different application in that a company that is dealing with hospital ma machines or maybe hospital equipment and have different maybe uh, problems in yet another area because of the different application they are using, application platform that are supposed to be used. And that becomes a major problem. Sometimes you lack the knowledge and skills, and sometimes you lack the staff who have the knowledge and skills, and that could also be a point on its own. Two, lack of competent staff or appropriate staff to audit that particular audit. There are very few auditors who have done systems audit and maybe who have done, who have that particular knowledge. And even if they have covered that one, they may lack maybe the necessary experience required maybe to audit a computer system. Some companies are so technical with their computer system such that even maybe the point of uh, looking at the system itself becomes so difficult for their auditor. And therefore, you may lack the necessary competent staff who are going to be helping you in auditing that company or computerized accounting system. Number three. Sometimes you lack knowledge, sometimes your staff lack knowledge. In other cases, you lack maybe the necessary expert. So we say lack of expertise knowledge. Expertise knowledge. The biggest people that we miss in a computerized accounting system, one of them is the programmer, someone who can tell us how a program is working properly. And the other person is the analyst, someone who can maybe present the logical flow of that particular system. These two people here, apart from maybe lacking, they may also be very costly. And so we can introduce here costly in terms of what? Overheads. If you're auditing a manual system, you don't need any computerized accounting system or you don't need maybe a computer software. If you're auditing a manual, a computerized system, then you need one, an expert, and you need two, a software that is going to help you maybe confirm the figures in that particular area. Because it is very costly to acquire those particular cases, then the, uh, the, audit the audit overheads is likely to go up. And if it increases, it's not going to be best, or uh, it's not going to be to the best of the audit firm. Number five, sometimes we use what we call computer, computer assisted audit techniques. You know this one because in most cases they are designated as CATs, C-A-A-T's, there. What are they? 
they are one softwares and two test data software and two test data all of them they will require you to design them if you're not going to design them then you have to call someone who is going to help you design them if you're auditing a manual system you don't need the cuts if you're auditing a computer system you need the cut and that is one of the problem we do experience in a computer system and which is not experienced in a what in a manual system the other problem that we are going to be encountering number six here is what we call lack of visible evidence lack of visible audit evidence if you find a book written invisible evidence it is still the same invisible evidence what do we mean by this if you're auditing a computerized accounting system the data here is maintained in form of magnetic files magnetic files there is no way you can go to a hard disk and read the content like the way you will go to a cabinet and get files and start reading the contents the files here are maintained manually the files here are maintained using maybe secondary storage like the hard disk called maybe the cpu or something like uh, the, the the usb disk all this one will present a major problem to you as an auditor <music>